They're open 24-7, 365 days a year. America's go-to pit stops. Catering to our cravings. Quenching our thirst. But behind the coffee, sodas, snacks, and dogs, there's more going on than you think. These retail powerhouses take in one of every $23 spent each day in the U.S. They're built for speed. We like to keep the customers between like a two and a half minute, a three and a half minute transaction. They're designed to manipulate. There's a lot of opportunity to impulse guests into buying something that they weren't thinking about when they came in the front door. They're constantly on guard. You announce your presence very subtly that says we're watching. And they're equipped to stop crime. Now, settle in with your favorite snack or beverage as we take you deep inside the convenience store on Modern Marvels. For nearly a century, convenience stores have been walk-in brick-and-mortar buildings, stocked with goods and staffed by clerks and cashiers. And it's grown into a huge industry nationwide. There's 145,000 stores. They process 58 billion transactions every year. Thank you. One in every $23 is spent in a convenience store. But a company in Memphis, Tennessee, is changing the look of the convenience store and the entire shopping experience. Smart Mart offers the ultimate inconvenience drive through shopping. Customers begin at one of four shopping ports. They use a touch screen to place their order. On-screen icons appear, corresponding to aisles in a store. They select products from that aisle to fill their shopping cart. After making their selections, customers pay for the items with cash, credit, or debit card. Then comes some robotic wizardry featuring computers, motors, and conveyor belts. Inside the 53 by 8 and a half foot building, a computer signals mechanized dispensers to release the products. As the products are dispensed, they're dropped onto a central conveyor belt that runs in either direction from the front of the store to the back. At the end of the conveyor belt, the products are transferred to diverter conveyors that move items from one side of the building to the other into one of the four different order ports. The Smart Mart system can handle a variety of product types and sizes, from a small pack of razor blades to a gallon of milk or 12 packs of beverages. The system also checks IDs for alcohol purchases. Customers place their driver's license in a slot. A digital camera transmits the photo to an off-site call center, and there it's compared to the customer in the car. Excellent. Connecting the motors, conveyor belts, and dispensers together are about 60 miles of wires and cables, about the same quantity found in a modern passenger jet. The store's delivery system has also been engineered to prevent a common shopping nuisance. You don't want your potato chips to come out and then have a 12-pack uh, uh, from soft drinks drop on top of it. So we've assigned a fragility factor to each product. We dispense the ones that are stronger or more rugged first, or they might tend to crush the others. So your soft drinks, your gallon of milk come out before your bread, and your eggs would come out. Smart Mart's technology is impressive. But it's not the first time automation has been introduced into retail shopping. That distinction goes to Clarence Saunders, who founded the first self-service grocery store, Piggly Wiggly, in 1916. In 1937, Saunders opened the fully automated grocery store, also in Memphis, called Key Doozle. Shoppers viewed the merchandise displayed in glass cabinets. They made their selections by inserting a special key into a labeled keyhole. That produced a perforation punched onto a ticker tape. The tape would be read by a machine at the cashier's desk, which sent electric signals by wires to the back room, where the items would slide down conveyor belts to be bagged. But as innovative as Key Doozle was, Saunders' concept failed. 
the existing technology could not meet the demand. Circuits overloaded. The conveyor belts couldn't keep up with the volume of purchases at peak times, and too often shoppers got the wrong merchandise. The three key diesel stores Saunders opened in Memphis closed by 1950, and his idea for a fully automated store went into mothballs. Until Smart Mart. Today, technology is in sync with the automated concept. Smart Mart is a store engineered to get you quickly back on the road. 